personally. It's a uh, steel 041 AV farm ball. Um, old saw. Pushing 50 years. Um, this one was a throw in. I picked two up. One was a uh, MS 460. I needed a larger saw that I could put a larger bar on. And that one's needing just a little bit of work before I'll put it into service. But this one, uh, it, it amazed me. I'm going to show you exactly. Now it's cold. I'm not going to choke it. This is exactly what happened when I was just trying to make sure it wasn't uh, locked up after I got it home. Well, this is exactly what happened. almost 50 years old and that's what that saw did now I have given it a bath and cleaned it up and uh, it's it's in really really nice shape really nice shape I uh, haven't put compression tester on it yet but I just love the sound of these old uh, two cycles dun 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 so anyway I wanted to show you guys this one when I get the 460 um, straightened out I will do a video of it I'm having to put a clutch band on it and then the clutch side case inner clutch side case where the log dog goes is uh, the tab is broke off and so I'll be able to run a log dog on the outside but I only paid $75 for that 460 and it starts and runs. I put a new clutch and bell and all that fun happy stuff on it which ran me 30 bucks. I'm still into the saw for less than 150. Uh, it's got a brand new 20 inch bar on it. I've already got my uh, three, MS361 that runs a 20 inch bar so I've got a number of chains already. This is another 20 inch bar and they're all the same 3 8 pitch 50, 50 3 8 pitch. Um, I can run up to a 32 inch bar on that 460 but from what I've read that's uh, kind of pushing the envelope without doing any mods so I may get a dual port muffler for it and rejet the carb so that I can successfully run the tw uh, 32 inch but in the meantime the uh, it's uh, going to get a 24 inch bar and I've got a couple of larger trees to take down um, but that pretty well rounds out this one and me talking about the 460 uh, this one is just super super nice just all the way around it was obviously well loved and well cared for by its uh, previous owner this is some of the residual cleaning fluid on the bottom of it from putting it in the parts washer but I'm impressed and it's a heavy saw I probably won't use it too much uh, since I've got the 460 and the 361 and the 170 and the 200T and the 09L and 020AV. Uh, but like I say, this one was just kind of tossed in with the 460. And I actually wound up uh, paying about $100 for this one. So I don't think I did bad at all, especially not even trying them out but it was a retail setting where I got both saws and I knew that uh, if I had an issue with what I paid I could take them back so that wasn't a problem but uh, uh, one of my favorite pawn shops is where it came from so buddy Kyle thank you much brother um, that's it I've talked long enough about uh, this butamous old vintage steel so that I'm just I love old stuff. You guys know that with my old tractors and everything else. So. There she is. No sense doing another walk around of it. Um, I'll act. I'll just tack on the walk around on the back side of it so you guys can get a good look at the whole thing. But anyway, there you go. That's it. The Zippo later. I'm out.